I, I know that many of the people on this webinar um, are already very active and engaged in justice seeking, not just in Palestine and Israel, but uh, many of the issues confronting um, creation. So I will not um, presume to, to uh, um, be as, as comprehensive as I think we need to be. Oh, as I should be, but I will just basically speak to some of the priorities that this delegation has raised in its report that we heard about from partners. Um, we all know that Palestinian and Israeli partners of the churches of Kairos Canada have been very clear about what is needed for realizing a just and lasting peace. And we am on this call has been very clear that an end to the occupation and the injustices that accompanied are key. This must happen. And that the missing piece in the quest for the peace that we so desperately hope for and work for and yearn for is justice. As, as uh, uh, Roz mentioned, as uh, we am uh, colleagues on this call have mentioned, a justice that upholds respect for human rights, the dignity and equality of all is essential. We have heard from partners in Palestine who are uh, fellow Christians, uh, that they have called on the churches around the world to engage in solidarity and that they need us to take urgent, principled and prophetic action in support of a just peace. They said this many times over the decades. More recently, they've said this very clearly in December 2009, when they issued the Kairos Palestine Moment of Truth. They said it again in June 2017 in the open letter from the National Coalition of Christian Organizations in Palestine. And they have just recently articulated a cry for hope again in July 2020. We struggle as churches in Canada about how to do this work of justice seeking for peace in Palestine and Israel because we are complicit in the injustice. As Canadians, we are complicit in the injustice. Our role in part is to amplify the call and the voices of partners, but our role is also to do our part to respond to what they have clearly stated is needed. And so there is work for us to do here in Canada. Some of the ways that we have tried to respond faithfully, this delegation visited Canadian representatives in Ramallah and in Tel Aviv. They had meetings in Ottawa in March of this year with MPs, with members of the government with um, global affairs and reiterated the calls that were made in the report. Most recently, Canadian churches have written to the Canadian government calling for the government to use all measures at its disposal to oppose annexation and the ongoing occupation. We have called for an end to the blockade on Gaza. Kairos Canada continues to amplify the voices of the women of courage that were highlighted in this webinar throughout its programs and in meetings in Ottawa, accompanied by partners from WIAM like Lucy and Tarek. Part of decolonizing our solidarity with our partners is for us as people of faith to ask ourselves, to ask our churches and our government some tough questions. Why does the occupation continue? What are the structures and policies and practices that maintain and sustain injustice, whether it is in Palestine and Israel or here at home in Canada, on Turtle Island? What is our role in sustaining injustice? And therefore, what must we do to dismantle that injustice and the systems that perpetuate it? We have heard today some of the ways that we can do that and some of the ways in which we are striving to learn what are the ways that we can engage? And these are some of the questions that church leaders on this delegation wrestled with in their visits with partners and since their return. In Canada, the Canadian political context and Canadian policy um, have been challenged by how Canada has engaged justice seeking in Palestine and Israel. Canadian policy is very clear that the occupation is illegal and annexation is illegal, the settlements are illegal. 
Canada can be more outspoken and explicit in implementing its own policy, as I've articulated, to support self-determination and international law and human rights. Whether at the UN or not, Canada can be a force for justice and for upholding international law. One way is that the, at the UN, Canada can be consistent with its own policy and with long-standing international law by voting for UN resolutions that call for an end to the occupation. We are concerned as Canadians about Canada's voting record at the UN. We were encouraged by its recent vote in December 2019 for self-determination or recognizing and affirming the self-determination of Palestinian people. But those votes need to be consistent. Those votes in favor of international law, in support of international law, need to be consistent. They cannot be piecemeal and they cannot be one-off. Our leaders, political and faith leaders, have often failed to do everything possible to work towards um, a just peace in Palestine and Israel. Canada has an obligation to comply with international law. Churches have an obligation to speak truth to power and to call for justice. The church leaders who participated in this delegation have been doing this, as you heard on the call today, not only with the government, but within their denominations and ecumenically. One hoped for essential outcome of this webinar in hearing from we am partners and the church leaders on this delegation is that we renew our commitment in our denominations and across Canada to work for a just peace. All of us gathered today can take action and do everything we can to contribute to ending the occupation. Thank you for the action you take today, for the actions you have taken, and for your continued commitment to work for justice. You will see on your screen a particular ask. The focus right now has been on the um, looming annexation, whether it is by a formal announcement or the creeping annexation, which has continued to take over much of the land and displace uh, people from their homes, their farms, and their communities. If there's one action you take today at the end of this webinar, please write to your MP, write to the Minister of Foreign Affairs and call on Canada to take action to oppose annexation and to end the occupation. Thank you.